Here is a short promo video we shot on the new Sony A7S III. What's cracking everyone, Amy Crichton here and in today's video we are reviewing the Sony A7S III. So the video you just watched was an unpaid commercial that we shot for Piccolo Papa using the new Sony A7S III. We wanted to test a new Sony A7S III camera out before we took it on a professional shoot with paying clients. At this particular location, there was a variety of different lighting in this kitchen. There was heat lamps, there was tungsten, and there was daylight. This restaurant was part of a bigger shopping center, so there was also lights coming in from outside of the shop, which was a great test for this camera. I misjudged the lighting a few times because of the mixed lighting situations. It's good to know that once I got those files back into the edit that they were recoverable and I could change the white balance to a certain degree and save those shots. That is the best thing about this camera. It is 10 bit 422 color science. So you have that extra flexibility in post to pull those colors where you need to. The two main lenses I used on this shoot was the Sony G Master 16 to 35 and the 24 to 70 2.8. 95% of this shoot was all shot hand held using the XAVCS codec in 422 10-bit at 100 frames a second. This pretty much eliminated all handheld shake. Because I was shooting at 100 frames a second, I couldn't use the active stabilization, which means this thing is a beast at stabilizing anyway. The active stabilization crops in your lens about one times. You can hardly notice the difference. But shooting at 100 frames a second, I didn't need to have this on and I wasn't able to select it anyway. It's great to know that you can just pick this camera up and use it handheld when you need to. The best thing about shooting handheld with the Sony is you don't need to put it on a tripod when you're in those tight filming areas like I was on this shoot. There was a lot happening in the kitchen, there was a lot of staff hanging around, I was already interrupting their service. So having a whole bunch of extra equipment in the way would have added to our shoot time and probably annoyed the client a little bit more than it would have if I was just shooting handheld. Later on in the week, we did get an opportunity to take this thing out and test it on a couple of TV commercials. Here are a few clips from our TV commercial shoot. This camera was outstanding in a professional environment. For those two commercials, it pretty much lived on a gimbal and I was really impressed with the dynamic range and the new color science Sony has shoved into this thing. Especially when you get those clips into the edit suite, you can really appreciate that dynamic range and the extra flexibility you get with that 422 10-bit codec. So yes, absolutely, you can use this camera in a professional environment and on TV commercials and on music videos, wherever you see fit to use this camera, you can use it, especially on a gimbal. I think this is a perfect fit. It is a great form factor for gimbal work. It just works nicely. It's nicely balanced. The only caveat to a camera like this is it doesn't look like a cinema camera. It doesn't look like a professional camera, but it is. And once the client sees that final product, I don't think they're going to care about the size of the camera. It is what you do with the camera that matters, not the gear. So keep that in mind. And that wraps it up. Thank you for hanging out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe and comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.